hello guys welcome back to our channel so in this video we are going to check like the python program for checking if a date is valid or not and if the date is valid we are just going to increment the date by one so let's get started so first of all we'll write that date in a variable let's say a variable date and uh, uh, 2001 2003 okay and let's print the variable date over here it's capital D D and yes it's this so first of all we need to check if the date is valid valid so for that thing we'll just uh, take uh, we'll just extract the date month and uh, the year from Mm, uh, from this uh, string so let's do that so first of all we'll write date dot split and here i'll write this thing and uh, we'll write date month and year equals to this so data oh, it's not data it's date and yes so now let's print these three variables over here and let's see what's our date month and, and so we can, here can see that our date is 12 our month is 1 and uh, our uh, year is 2003 so let's do one thing instead of this i write date month and year okay so now it's this looks good so what do we say control, control v and yes we are having the date month and year now and now let's do one thing let's check if the date is valid or not the first of all uh, we know that the dates are not same for every month so we need to check which month is it so for i like uh, if month equals to equals to one let's say one uh, like um, let's define two arrays a and b and let's say uh, i'll write all those uh, months which are having 21 uh, 31 days in array a in array a and all those months which are having uh, 30 days in array b so I'll write, it's 1 3 5 7 9 11 so these months are having 31 days and uh, so let me write a comment over here so 31 days and uh, here I will write uh, 2 no no 2 is not having 30 days it's having different so now 3 4 6 8 10 and 12 so these are having uh, 30 days 30 days so we'll first of all check if month in a maximum maximum day would be 31 else maximum would be 30 okay uh, okay what's the problem over here this thing okay so we have got the maximum number of days inside the month let's print the max so since this is january january is january should have 31 days if month in a uh, yes it's in a mm, i think something is wrong over here if one in a a is having one and okay okay so we need to write this in string okay so it was checking if the integer uh, if the string one is there inside uh, the so yes now it's saying 31 days so we'll change everything over here and uh, we'll change each and every month to string since we are getting the month and all in the string format okay mm -hmm. now we are done 
Okay, so now we are getting the maximum number of days as uh, 31 and uh, so let's check now if the and first of all before this we need to add one more condition like um, if month is less than is I mean is greater than zero it should be one and is, it should be one uh, a zero and month should be less than 13 which means it should only be till 12 so then print valid month okay so this is valid month now what's the problem over here if uh, month okay this is if okay and this is not supported in string in it so write uh, int of month and we need to copy this over to here control c and control v and now yes so it's saying we have we are having a valid month so we'll store this month status month flag equals to zero and if it's invalid else set it to set the month flag to one so okay and now we are also having a month flag so we'll check so first of all we'll check here if i mean not here it should be here uh, if month flag equals to equals to zero that which means if the month is a valid month then we'll check for days so we are setting the maximum number of days over here and uh, we'll just print over here invalid month okay uh, and now so till now we had checked if the month is valid and now we would check if the day is valid so for checking the day we would write if the date is great is greater than zero and is and if the date is less than max so we had set the max over here uh, if it's less than max then print V A L I do valid date and now we would say that so this is not support. okay we'll convert that to int so date uh, is greater than zero and here also if this is greater than zero okay so we had got a valid date so which means this the date 12 is valid and the month 1 is also valid so or else we'll print that we also write an else statement over here and else print invalid print okay and um, print invalid okay so here we had checked for uh, days so now let's do for february so we know we know that in leap year we are having 29 days and in all the rest of the years we are having uh, the day as 28 so let's write a condition for that thing so if uh, we'll write over here uh, after this so we'll write um, else if month in B and here it's uh, good now okay and we'll write else else if else if uh, uh, we'll check which year is it is the year divisible by 4 so if that is divisible by 4 we would get uh, the it as year number so uh, it, it would be a, it would be a leap year if it would be divisible by 4 so let's check it over here if this so this should be int of int of year percentage 4 this uses the reminder equals to equals to 0 which means if that year is divisible by 4 and 
if that L is uh, also not divisible by 100 and 400 and uh, then it's a leap year and uh, and yes so here it should be it should not be divisible by 400 so right not be divisible by 100 and uh, this here 400 and I'll change it to not equal to. So we're adding condition as if the if an year divided by four, we are getting the remainder as zero, which means it's a uh, it is divisible by four as well as it is not divisible by hundred and four hundred. If this condition gets satisfied, then we will get a leap year. And in leap year, we are having number of days. Uh, we are having max as um, twenty nine else we'll set the max to 28 so here we are good to go uh, okay so we have done everything for the uh, we have checked each and every condition for month and also for date and also for uh, year so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, change this to 2004 and uh, and this uh, to February 2 okay and let's check if this is a valid date or not so this is a valid month and uh, you are getting so we are getting a valid date over here control X and after this so we are getting a valid date finally so if i just change this to 43 and now let's see if this is giving us a valid date it's saying valid month but let's see it's saying invalid date so our program is working fine correctly now okay let's see let's check for the let's see i'm having day 30 and uh, okay we have to set this for uh, okay so uh, 30 and the month is uh, the February, January, it's 2, 2004. So let's check if this is giving, this is invalid date, but let's check if this is giving a valid date. So we are getting invalid date over here. So guys, uh, so uh, we had done the first part of the video, we had check if the date is valid or not. In the second part, we would uh, increment this date. Thank you guys for watching this video.